there hasn't been a lot of talk from the government about buyback, the confiscation of firearms, last number of months. They had other distractions going, but a liberal insider who, you know, they're never named, has leaked it now that their plan is to go forward with the uh, confiscation, the buyback program during the 2025 election cycle, which seems like a horrible idea, but they literally admitted that it's, they need votes. That's what it comes down to. At least low-level caucus, liberal caucus members, they're like, we've been directed to do this because we need the votes. But really, it's there's a bigger plan behind civilian disarmament, right? It's not just about, we've got to get the liberals in and get the guns off the streets. That has nothing to do with it. They, they all but openly admit that. So part of their plan for their confiscation just make it easy because they're so lazy they want to do the absolute minimum they 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 want you to disarm yourself they wanted can and this was this was kind of old news canada post already kind of said no but i think it's more official that they're like nah we don't want to do it they want canada post to act as their confiscating machine they want to send prepaid special boxes to just throw ar-15s in and just send them in mass with canada post to their to their depots now they they've cited logistical and safety concerns which you know makes sense because if if every criminal that in this country is seemingly protected if they all know now that Canada Post cars are going to have ARs in them, and then they know they're going to go to a certain depot, and it only takes a couple people inside the company to be like, yo, homie, I know where the depot is, or I know the route they're taking. And then there's like one, look at all the stuff people do. People are willing to do anything um, for guns. And if you get a whole bunch of top of the line civilian owned stuff, man, that's just like, that's a gold mine for criminals. So they have that concern. That's a legitimate concern. And then logistically, they don't, they, they talked about having the Canada Post person come up and watch you put your firearm in the box. It's like, it's so dystopic. I don't know what they, that they actually believe these ideas of theirs are going to work. But that's the gist of it. Canada Post doesn't want to. The government's going to use this as another wedge issue in the upcoming election because they've got nothing else. They can't say anything to deflect from their intentional destruction of the country, right? They've torpedoed the economy, our social structure. They've undermined society at every foundational point that they can. And then when it happens, they go, oh no, it happened. Why did this all happen? And then they have the solution and it's more money for other countries but us and, and a raise for all of them. They all get a raise. Politics is all nonsense. It's um, It in and of itself is a distraction. Give you the illusion that there's a choice, that there's some structure and order to to the way your sovereign country is run but it's not like that anymore right they all they all serve the same side they all they all got as we got a 23 percent carbon tax scam increase they all got a raise all of them they all got a raise it's they they're they're laughing at us they're literally laughing at us and rubbing it in our faces and nobody's ever going to do anything about it so the best thing is just to disconnect from it Move somewhere nice in the woods, take your children out of school, learn how to grow food. And on top of it all, even though they say they're going to confiscate in 2025, they don't need to. That's the whole point of all this. They, they don't need to. They've already neutered everybody. They've shuttered the gun industry in Canada. They've ruined the supply chain for firearms and components and ammo. It's, it's the, the economy as a whole has been, you know, is rotten. They've done what they needed to do. They, that's why they've let people hold on to these guns for so long because they they don't care they don't act they know they're not actually a safety concern they know nobody's going to do anything with them point proven it's been four years basically and no one has done anything stupid with one of these now prohib weapons nothing i don't even think anyone's gotten caught shooting one on private property or at a shooting range or anything nothing no one hundreds of thousands of people have done continued to do nothing wrong further proving the point that it's absolute political nonsense. They don't need to do it. They don't intend to do it. They've already done what they do. They just, they, they do the very minimum, minimal amount. And that's them just making a dramatic press conference and on a computer changing the rules and being like, yep, we made, we signed it into law. It's now those are all legal. You can't have them, can't do anything with it. Don't, don't you dare. It's all just nonsense. They don't actually care. They do care, but it's a long con for them. They don't want conflict. They don't want difficulty. They just want to do 
in stages what they need to get done. How many generations before people just can't own any guns in Canada? It's going to only be a few generations before no one owns a legal handgun anymore because what is owned legally in Canada as of right now is what you got. You can't buy or sell basically anybody. It just there's little little loopholes and nuances to the legislation, but it's only that. It's like law enforcement stuff and it has nothing to do with civilians. So, yeah, it won't take long before there will there won't be any legal handgun owners in Canada. And then once that's gone, then there won't, it'll turn into, you know, no semi-autos. It just goes really quick, but I'm for sure voting liberal 2025 because the faster this all collapses, the quicker we can all start doing something better. Hey, look where I was up in K2. Hey, Jackie. You know, there's a baby, baby, tiki. Just like a piggy, piggy, eggs.